Good morning, everybody, and welcome back for another War Thunder First 10. This will be with a premium vehicle, the 2.3 battle rating uh, crafting event reward vehicle, the SU-76D. So named because the Soviet Union designed it for attacking the D-point. And they abandoned development of it once Gaijin removed the D-point from War Thunder, and that's why they only made the SU-76A, B, and C. So... Clearly, that is not true, but if any of you believe it, uh, let me know about uh, buying bridges, because I have a couple I would love to sell you in Brooklyn. Now, to talk somewhat seriously, uh, this was the crafting event ground reward that you could get for completing one single Minotaur tank in uh, April of 2021. And there's uh, you could either exchange... A single tank coupon for the SU-76D or Japanese Destroyer. Me, personally, I'm going to get the Japanese Destroyer because I am just going to focus one line for naval stuff and then just drop everything else. And I figure, why not Japan? Because they already had a uh, squadron vehicle and now a reward vehicle that are both premiums. But that is not anything about the SU-76D. So... Uh, in reality, it was uh, experimented with and ultimately decided that it was just too expensive to produce, so they stuck with uh, the regular 76mm SU-76 and SU-76M, which you can see another premium version of that right here. But, for this thing, um, enclosing it completely and so on just made it more expensive to produce, so they went with the open top ones. So, you've got the 76mm F-34 cannon with 71 rounds of ammunition, uh, you can get up to 22 miles an hour, so it's not going to be very fast. That is something we're going to watch out for. It is, however, a 2.3 battle rating, so the 76mm cannon should be extremely useful. And, in fact, it does have quite a few different uh, ammunition choices. If you look at the uh, modifications here, there's five rounds of ammunition simply as modifications. Now, it's premium, so you get them all right off the start. But, as you can see here, there's eight total ammunition choices. So I'm going to focus on bringing the BR-350B, the 350SP, uh, maybe a couple of 350Ps, and probably uh, some 350A. Um, other than that, basically, if um, you can do good damage with the shrapnel round, you can also do damage to that sort of vehicle with the uh, heat round. And there's not really much point in bringing the 350A if you have the 350B. So there we go. Those are going to be my four ammunition choices to bring. Because you can only bring four out of the eight total that you have available to you. But uh, smoke shells would be nice, but they're just not quite as useful as um, they could be in War Thunder, especially at lower battle ratings. So the battles just don't last long enough for smoke shells to be a truly viable thing. If you're working in a squad, that's one thing, but I will not be working in a squad, so there we go. Okay, let's take a look at some uh, x-ray bit here. And the armor. Armor isn't going to be too bad because of the angle, but still 37 millimeters even with the, the effective thickness of 37 to 38 millimeters isn't going to stop too much. So you're going to want to be careful with it. And in the x-ray you can see quite a lot of ammunition in the cheek stowage and the rest of the ammunition is directly behind the uh, commander and the loader. And that's, there's just not much you can do about it. The vehicle just isn't really that big, so there's no other place to put the ammo, so... I'm going to figure out how much ammo to bring roughly based on this. Probably about 25 to 30 rounds of ammo, I think, should be enough for it. It is a premium, so we'll see. Um, it's also kind of one of those cases where if you take a hit, everything in here is so compact in the center, you're probably going to just lose this thing altogether anyway. So I may bring more than that, but I think probably 30, 30 to 35 rounds absolute maximum. Less than half of the total capacity is probably more than you're going to fire in a single battle. It is a premium vehicle, so you can see right here real quick, you get 354%. It's only effective at researching ranks 1 through 3, which I don't have anything left in ranks 1 through 3, so my research will not be efficient for the ZSU-37-2. But uh, that's okay. 135% in the uh, Silver Lion category isn't too bad. And uh, we've got 4.9 degrees on the turret rotation, which is just the gun swing. Because, of course, this is a case-baited tank destroyer. And the reload rate is 9 seconds, which is also not that great. But then, of course, there's not really a whole lot of room for the loader to move around in there. So that's uh, perhaps not too crazy. Also, if you look at the ammunition racks, he's got to get it out of these racks, then move it into the gun and load it. So it's definitely going to be a case of being aware of how long your reload is and getting a good shot off and making sure you wait for a good shot and only taking a 
chance shot if you absolutely, absolutely have to. Otherwise, wait till you got a good shot, use your good shot, and then uh, try to get some cover before you uh, pop out to shoot again. So we'll look at the camouflages quick, and then we'll get right into a battle, because there's not much really else to talk about. Standard camouflage, winter camouflage for 100 kills. Not too bad looking. That should blend in fairly well. Forest camouflage for 200, or 130 kills. There we go. Tricolor, desert, not bad. Tri or tricolor camouflage, rather, for 200 golden eagles. Tricolor desert for 200 golden eagles. I'm not going to buy this because I'm not going to get the vehicle. Bicolor Desert, you can get for 70 kills, and Bicolor Winter, you can get for 200 Golden Eagles. Sorry, I have hiccups right now, and they're trying to kill me. So that's it for uh, modifications, and x-ray, and the uh, camouflages, so let's get into battle. Okay, here we are, battle number one. Um... I'm attempting to go for maximum kill total here, so we will see what happens. Um, I definitely have more ammunition than I said I was going to bring. I will adjust that number a little bit after uh, this first battle. I didn't have a whole lot of time. Or, yeah, I knew that was coming. Didn't have a whole lot of time once uh, I started into this battle before I was, uh, oh, well, thanks anyway. But it wouldn't work because you would be pulling me from behind, rather from the back of my tank. So anyway, I appreciate the offer of the tow rope, but it would have had to be my tow rope offer, as it were. Okay, we have got America, Germany, and Japan. What interesting battle rating matchmaking we've got going on here. It has artillery for... God knows what reason. I cannot uh, comprehend why we've got Artie. I was going to fire it, but I'm not going to now. I'll save it for Charlie. I don't understand why this tank destroyer has Artie and the XM8 doesn't. That's, that's cool. Have some Artie, boys. All right. Nice kill. Nobody up high yet, but I can see anyway. No hits with Artie. See a danger tractor. That smelled like Artie. Oh, okay. That didn't hurt him too much. His return shot's probably gonna hurt. Oh. Boy, am I glad you killed him. If he had hit me with that, that would have been the end of us for sure. That was a Sherman 105, and I gotta remember that those existed this battle rating. Woo! Okay. Most of them down low. Somebody's right up there. The oh boy, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we took a hit from down here, I think. Very naked and exposed to anybody who decides to go up there, but that's eh, gonna be the way it is, I guess. We taking Bravo. Well done, guys. Ah, oh, I can't hit him. Okay. Let's see if we can get an actual sight picture on that guy. Before he gets a follow-up shot at me. Nope. The answer is no. Another Sherman. Yep. Yeah. 
should have used heat. Okay. <laughs> like the armor wasn't even there. Eh, whatever. Okay, battle two, and it's a bit, uh, a bit rainy, so drop the ammo count down a little bit, but I don't think it's reflecting correctly. Yeah, that's, uh, huh. Actually, it might be. Anyway, I drop my ammo count down a little bit. Let's see which way should we go to try to, uh, we're certainly going to set up for an ambush to catch the guys who are, all, even now, speeding towards our spawn. Assuming that we can break through that relatively quickly and get to this corner before they come around it. It's not exactly the fastest tank destroyer in the world. The very underpowered engine. Okay, well, I was planning on setting up right here, but our team is going to roll past that, which is totally okay. I'm not against that idea. I'm going to hold right here. Let's see what happens. Watch for enemy contact, see if they come up here. They may not, necessarily. But I ex expect several of them will. I mean, that's what I'm here for, is attacking the D-point, but, uh... There's no D-point to be found, I'm afraid. Alright, I, uh... I'm gonna make my way towards the cap. That uh, seems to be where the fighting is going to happen. Boy, I'll tell you what. This does not have all the engine power in the world. Are you damaged, dude? Yeah, you certainly are damaged. Okay. Good thing you didn't mark what was killing you. Just uh, to the map. sit here with the engine off for a second and listen for that M4A3105 to go by. Aha! This is why when you get hit, you mark what hit you. Attention to the designated grid zone. I'm gonna have to bail out of here, but I'm kind of trapped for the moment. There he is. I think I actually can get out of here. Let's get out of here. Well, this thing is just slow as hell. That Sherman 105 comes through there. We are toast. sight picture on him. Maybe. What I need to do is head for Alpha. Oh, shit. What I want. 
wanted. Okay, there we go. That's a relief. We've still got this Sherman down here somewhere. Get out of here and head for Alpha. Jeez. He's on the inside of right here. Ah, cool. Cool. Oh, my God. Well, goodbye, everybody. Anybody? I don't know how I survived the first two hits. Okie dokie, here's battle number three. We are going to head for the airfield. I'll tell you what, uh, running into Sherman 105s is rapidly becoming uh, old news. Old, unpleasant, uh, disconcerting news. But we'll see what happens. At least it's very unlikely they're going to hit me all the way down this road. Not impossible, but very unlikely. Two Chiha shortguns and a Chiha Kai. Well, I mean, all right. There's a Sherman 105 right now. Attention to the designated grid zone. Not impossible, but unlikely. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow vehicle, but it's meant for defensive purposes, so it doesn't need to be overly fast. Although, uh, for War Thunder, it'd be nice if it had a little more get up and go, but I mean, you know. Let's see if we can get into an ambushing type position here. From as far away as I am from any contact right now, I might potentially be able to survive a hit or two. Against lower caliber weapons from the really fast tanks, and I'm far enough away that somebody would have to play their M4A3105 a lot before they can reliably hit me from this far, but that's not in a statistical impossibility, so here we go. Try to get to A and do something useful. Perhaps shoot to B from there. Okay, little Artie on Alpha. Twenty miles an hour. Are we gonna hit twenty-two? We did. I believe we have achieved top speed. Yeah, we seem to be governed out at uh, twenty-two miles an hour, which I think was what the top speed was listed as, anyways, right? Twenty-two point four. So yeah, this is the best we're ever gonna see is on this map right here. They are taking all three points. We're going to see if we can do something about Alpha here and then work on Bravo from there. Target. Target. 
target in sight. It is a Sherman. Of course it is a Sherman. We'll try to hit him with heat. Did not hurt his engine like I'm trying to. Another one a little higher up, then we'll move to a different spot. Okay. Not doing too much to him. This should be a good hit. There we go. That worked. Hello, target. Here we go. Ha! Oh, tracked him. Oh, and then I took a hit from a counter shot because, of course, I did. Of course. <laughs> of course. He just happens to be looking that way. We haven't even started decapping the point yet. Okay, Battle 4, not the best map for getting flanking side shots, which is kind of what I'm attempting to do with this thing, but uh, I guess we'll see what we can do. Um, I guess I could go over here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll try to do. We got America on the enemy team again, and France, so double the chances of, uh, uh, M4A3-105s. That's fun. Okay, what do we got? Too bad we don't have a road to get some actual speed on. But it's a battle map, so maybe, maybe, just maybe this battle will develop slowly enough that we can get some actual good shots. Maybe somebody from the team will mark something. Maybe. Anybody down there yet? There we go. Okay. Bit short on that one, buddy. Not too short on that shot. We need to back off a little, though. Oh, I see a Giro. That's actually kind of hilarious. Ugh, luckily. Zero doesn't have his range down yet. Okay, game. Just over him. Oh, he got the shot. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Just about to mark him and fire artillery at him and he gets the shot off. That actually hits me. Battle 5, here we go. A lot of kills after I got killed in Battle 4, but uh, that's not what we're after. We're after kills with the feature vehicle here. Not afterwards. Holy God, can you drive any worse? Can you people drive any worse? It simply is not that complicated. Oh my lord. My goodness.
All right, now, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Should go up there, actually. And so I shall. Come on, let's go. I'm not sure I can make it up this. Actually making it fairly well. Ideally, if I can get where I can overlook the capture capture point, that would be swell. Oh, don't fail me now, engine. Nice not driving a wheeled vehicle right now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, SU-76. You can do it. Ignore what the game's physics are telling you. Do what you know to be true. That you can make it. Can't see whatever's marked right there. Okay. guy through all the smoke. Is he dead? He might be. Oh, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One off to the left there, too, that I'd also like to shoot in a moment. Come on, stop, 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 settle. Yes. That's a pretty good hit. That should do it. Reload is just a little slow, but we're okay. This guy alive right here? He is not. Is that an enemy right in front of me? It sure sounded like it was. Sure. See anybody alive out there at the moment? They're all been knocked out. There's one. Repairing. That guy alive. Okay. Got his transmission. Tank's bouncing just a little bit, but I think I've got a follow-up shot on him. Sure did. Oh, we can hit that guy, too. I think he's dead. Yep. Alright, fair enough. I think we got this one won. Took a minute to get up high. But we got up there and got a fairly commanding view. A couple kills. Probably not really worth the uh, time it took to climb, but hey. Two kills and a win and no death. I guess. Not a uh, terribly profitable battle. But, I mean, we knew it wasn't going to be. 292 vehicle research. <laughs> Okay, battle six. This could be interesting. We got a little ways to get. I don't know if we're going to get there fast enough. There's certainly enough fast light tanks at this battle rating to get well, well into here before I can get up to where I can see to stop them. But I'll do what I can. Sunlight is not doing us any favors. 
I've had worse. I've had worse sunlight, but... Oh, wow, I'm the only person over at A. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Alright. One to help. I will be doing my best to play defensive battle over here. Come on. Nice. That's the entrance right there. Nobody yet, but that doesn't mean a thing. There could very easily be a bunch of them that got through before I was able to get to up here. They could already be popping up right there for all I can tell. And in the sunlight, whoever could tell. This Sunlight with the dust? Horrible. No, of course not. Of course we can't get up that. And there's the tank coming through. That we'd have been able to shoot at if we could just get up that rock. Nope. Come on, with the physics! God, target right there. Target right there. Target right there and we can't do a thing about it. We can get out this way. It's absolutely foolish, this whole thing is. Okay. Stop them at Alpha. Should not have ever even been a concern. We seem to hold the other two caps, so that's good. I thought I heard an airplane, but I guess it was him. Enemy. enemy tanks are on Bravo, you say? Oh no, there is an enemy airplane coming. Enemy tank right there. Can we get the gun down? I think he's not actually looking. God. Wonderful. There he is. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. I think there's there is somebody right there. I thought there was. Go go gadget reload speed. Oh, I thought those bombs were on me for sure. Alright, we actually don't need to retake Bravo at the moment. So I'm not going to try to do so. I'm quite happy if our team does so, but I'm not going to try to do so. Specifically. Got a Chinese M3A3 somewhere to deal with. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, rotate, rotate, rotate. Radiator, not a great hit. They are now taking Alpha. Oh, undamaged. Back to Alpha we go. 
realize I'm turning my back to those guys over there, but I'm willing to chance it. Oh man. Holy cow. Cool! What kind of what kind of gun whip was that? Almost hilarious. Thank you. I know you can't help me repair, but you're here to help defend me while I repair and guard me, and I'll take that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hey, Smoke, you can clear now. Back off, buddy. Back off, back off. They are on Charlie. Now we do need to take Alpha back. Where is he? Oh, that was close. That was close. No! No! My friend and helper! Save him. I need to do more shooting across the all the way across the way at those guys that were moving into Charlie. Just didn't have enough time to try to kill everything. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. Come on. My God, clear the hill. Something else is down there. Okay, ammo's good. Alpha again, we're taking Charlie. Okay, back to Alpha. Oh boy. Okay, they're taking A. Heading back to Alpha. Heading back to Alpha. So far, pretty good battle. We lost Charlie. see where he's capturing. Oh. Can't help from here. I can't see. Enemy forces have captured a zone. I agree. Where are you going, M2A4? Oh, I didn't know you could get around there. All right, cool. Got you covered if you can spot him. I don't, I don't want to fire our... Ooh, they took Bravo right behind me while I was trying to focus on helping him at Alpha. Whoops. Oh, shit! There you go, man.
really want to help him at A. I really want to help him cover at A. The hell's on Bravo! I couldn't see anything in all that artillery smoke. Man, that sucks when that happens. Otherwise, I would have had him. I had plenty of time to shoot if I could have just seen a target there, but nope. Artillery hitting at the same time. Okay, Battle 7. Battle 6 went as I expected all the battles to have gone, but it's alright. So, uh, even though I would like to go to Charlie and change things up from the last time, I am going to go back down the uh, runways again because that is the fastest way to go in this thing. And lends itself the best to firing shots across over to here. Whereas here is just a little too tight with too many little fast tanks that can get around behind me. So I'm going to go this way again, even though I already went this way the first time. And hope it goes a little better this time than it did the first time. And also hope there might be one or two less uh, Sherman 105s down there. There's somebody. It is, of course, a Sherman 105. About here. Alright, here we go. We up tiered. I believe we are. I believe this is a max up tier. Pretty sure that the Stu H is 3.3. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played with it. It's been a while since I have uh, played at 3.3 or used the Stu H, so Sturm Halbita. So I don't actually remember. doing but okay lots of little guys there can't quite reach with Artie just yet Attention to the map. they are still getting Bravo Defend the B point. somebody fire Artie at B I would but I can't reach I would be happy to do so Anyway, wow. I I haven't known of anyone who bought their way into uh, rank two and then had no lineup to back it up. All right, that we can respond to with artillery. How do we have... Ah, uh, whatever. Hey, it's gonna be that Sherman. It's gonna be that Sherman we spotted. Do you have to machine gun at me? Is... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is there a particular reason for you to machine gun at a teammate while we're approaching a point that the enemy is actively capturing? Oh, that's an enemy. Stop, stop, stop. Woo! Just saved our buddy in the Sturmobitsa there. Can't believe I got an artillery kill on a Sherman. That already hit right next to him. Yep. Had a feeling. They know what to do when the enemy starts capping a point. Fire artillery at it. Let's get the hell out of here. That's double artillery. Move. Move, 276. Move.
Okay. Live or dead? Looks pretty dead to me. Is in fact dead, is in fact friendly. Alright, I would love to be able to fire at Bravo, but I can't see anybody. Somebody's got to move across to Bravo, guys. I'd rather it not be me without a turret. Where's that Crusader? We gotta get to Bravo. We have to go to B. Why are you shooting at teammates, man? Yeah, he's right here. He's like right here. We gotta move on Bravo here, guys. Get that gun down. Why are you driving right next to me? Go around the opposite direction, man. Oh, and that's where we're dead. Oh my god, this guy is obviously brand new. Clearly brand new without any idea how to compliment a teammate. Like, not like say good job, but I mean compliment with an E. All right, battle eight. Um, I am gonna head for Bravo, actually. Well, yeah, I am. Gonna loop up here and come in on the south side of Bravo by this little bit right here. See if I can take Bravo and or defend it if it's already taken. In the meantime, yep, yeah, M4A3105 again. The only saving grace is their reload. Hello, Wee One. Goodbye, Wee One. Sort of. Okay. America and Germany. Alrighty. Well, they've made it to Bravo. Or at least we took A first. Ooh. Ouch. A little already on the most logical place for them to be capping from. Alright, M5, get up there and scout him. They're also on Charlie. As I thought. than one took Bravo. Hmm. Well, that's an issue. 
A little bit of an assist here at Bravo would be swell. I thought. Whoa! That was a little close. Hey, we're taking Charlie back as well. Good job, guys. Gonna hang here for a second. Alpha's not looking pretty right now. We do have people respawning there, though. Good job at Charlie Gang. Alright. Oh, that's a problem. Probably could reach that with my arty. Obviously in sight yet. All right, we'll uh, circle around to the north by way of the east. Try and spot some of these guys. None of them have left the battle. Meanwhile, we have two that have left the battle, including one of them who doesn't show a death. So that's rather mysterious. say he's going to be a problem, but he's not. Yep, got one close. Oh! I think we got him. I think there might still be one alive. Yep, Sherman 105. Sherman 105, danger close. Oh boy. Oh my god, nice. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, only tracked him. Going right at him. Oh boy, this is an issue. This is an issue right here. Oh, he burned out. I can't believe he burned out. Wow. gonna hurt. Oh, I shot right over him. Thank you, squad mate. For real. Genuinely, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, there's one right there. It's a 105 right there. Yeah! Oh, it is fun taking out Sherman 105s. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. Attention to the Nice! Oh, look out! Whoa! 
those battles, uh... Alright, is that an enemy? I need to make sure. I don't think it was, but I need to be sure it was. I don't think... No, that wasn't him. Was it? No, that wasn't him. Okay. Got killed by an enemy I didn't see. Go get him, squad mate. Okay, Battle 9, this could be interesting to say the least. Germany, Britain, and Italy. Also interesting. Okay, um... Where do I want to go? Probably should go this way and set up an ambush, but I'm gonna go and try to get around this way up here. Probably too slow, but we're gonna try it. At least most of the uh, M4A3-105s will be on my team this time. One less vehicle to worry about, that's uh, quite annoying to face. I think I can get through there safely, but if not, I know I can get through right there should be able to get up here without being outside the map, I think. suppose I can. Okay. Good job, boys. Sadly, my artillery did not get anyone. But we did make it up here safely somehow. Let's see if we can hurt anyone. anything. Um. Clearly somebody's along the left-hand side of the cap. Faster, 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 faster. Artillery is falling. Be ready, Lago. He's on your side, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't trying to pull it. I was trying to push it like armor. But if you want to pull the thing, be my guest. Bad move. A real bad move. Anything. 
Nice cap. All right. See that guy right there, right? Guys? Guys, you see the one right here, right? Lago? You guys are gonna get killed. Aw, oh, man. Both tracks. Both of my tracks. Awesome! Awesome! Alright, battle 10 and we've got actually battle, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try and get around in here somewhere, try and lock up an approach, and also be able to fire Artie on the cap if need be. Pretty sure I'll be overwhelmed and destroyed long before that will become a thing, but hey, we'll see. We shall see. How are we looking? We got America, we got Japan, we got France, we got Sweden, we got some dangerous enemies, but anything pretty much is dangerous against this. I mean, you're not going to survive much toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing. Pretty much you're going to have to catch people in ambushes or have them blow their shot because either they're dumb or because an explosion hits right in front of them and rocks their entire vehicle. Which is the thing that happens now in this game, which is, you know, super not arcadey at all. Well, already for you, my friend. Alright, we've had a couple of good battles in this thing. And were I to have been researching anything at all low tier, the re uh, research rewards probably would have been pretty darn good, but I don't have anything left to research for the Soviets at low battle rating, so not a great example, but I mean, it should be pretty good. Alright, try to get some place where I'm protected from Artie overhead. That is an enemy right there, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it was. I thought I saw one. I had thought I saw one right in here. Get through it, get through it, get through it, get through it. Break it! Somebody was marked over there. What was it? Somewhere over there. Uh. Well. I don't know. It's going right down here somewhere. Come on, up, up we go. That is one right there, isn't it? It is. I don't like it either. That looks like a Char B1.
get him marked so we can get it. Oh, it's no, it's not either. Uh, it looks like the other thing that is resembles one. A couple of them there. We're gonna have to shoot and immediately back up. There we go. Artillery for the win. Well, I took out his lower cannon breach. We need to reverse a lot faster than this. We need to reverse a lot faster than this. Holy cow. Oh boy, oh boy. I love that the gun just cannot. It just cannot. It just can't. The guns in this game just cannot not whip violently side to side. Well, final thoughts for the SU-76D. Um, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I had a couple of pretty decent battles with it. It's an extremely glass cannon, though. My god, is it ever. Get him. Get him, Stuka. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Um, the ammunition and the gun are good. It's a higher battle rate and gun in a case-mated tank destroyer, which is pretty standard how uh, tank destroyers work in the game, battle rating wise. Ammunition is just fine. You want to watch out for Sherman 105, so very, very, very dangerous. Somebody right here, if we can just get the gun to stop moving. A ricochet, because of course it was. Target undamaged. Awesome. Okay, let's get this guy while well, we still have the chance. There we go. Okay, um, and the armor, of course, is nothing. The gun is alright. And, um, the mobility isn't great, but it's not terrible. The reverse gear is pretty horrific. But other than that. Um, it's passably, passably mobile. Um, for most of the battle rating, it's okay. Oh, I lost my loader. Guys, you need to get to A. Look at these shitheads. I have such a long reload. Or repair, rather. Um, other than that, I would say if you want to use the thing, go for it. If you don't want, it was a B1 tur. Huh. Anyway, to wrap up the final thoughts, um, it's okay. If you want to go get it, I say go for it. If you don't, I would say that the, uh, the Japanese destroyer should be an excellent choice if you're interested in naval whatsoever. I've already got the squadron vehicle Japanese destroyer, so, or I think it's a destroyer. Anyway, so I figure between the two of them, that was what led me to decide to just pick up the uh, Japanese destroyer because, well, why not? Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Good luck to all of you. It's already, it's too late, but I mean, if you choose to redeem a coupon for the SU-76D or buy it off the market, then I wish you all good luck. Other than that, see you all in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching and take care out there, everybody.